Okay, 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 kids. This is what came up on the old Craigslist monogram collection, 50 bucks. And look at it's got the Tide car, Rusty Wallace. It's got three NASCARs, which I need chassis for. And he's got a couple others included. So he says everything might not be as pictured. So inside the box, we've got a complete. Uh, Mike Skinner car, old 90s-ish, no, 2000 NASCAR Monty style. Uh, I'm not sure when, I forgot. Anyway, uh, Rusty Wallace, ooh, I want the Pontiac engine if it has it. I like those engines. And the Tide car. So, good chassis for my uh, shop truck group build. I'm waiting for that. Uh, lots of good stuff there. So that's what we got. Everything is 50 bucks, so I messaged him. I asked him if uh, he still had this available and if he'll take everything, or <laughs> I will take everything actually, sorry. Duh, get that right. And uh, what was his reply? He says, yeah, sure. When are you available? So uh, we're gonna go pick it up right away so somebody else doesn't grab it on us. All right, so instead of taking the car, I think I'm gonna challenge myself a little bit. I'm gonna take the electric motorbike out and I'm gonna take this bag, tie it up to the front and put some of the kits in there and I'll grab a backpack and I'll put probably three or four in the backpack so we'll try that out it's a little bit of an experiment to see what I can haul I should probably buy a trailer for this thing anyhow maintenance before I go all right all right all right so I got my riding glasses on to keep the bugs out of my eyes because this thing this little electric bike it flies pretty good does almost 30 miles an hour ish and I gotta override this system because you can get more power out of this. So I should be able to get 35 to 40 miles an hour out of this thing. They say, what, 60 kilometers an hour or something. Some people are saying 60 to 70. Anyhow, I picked up all my model kits. I got three in the backpack and six, seven there. So I got nine, uh, nine in total. Does that make sense? How many I say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. I got 10. So he threw in a couple extras because he's just getting rid of them. He just wants to get rid of it, he says. I, it's Nobody wants it. It's parts and pieces. And I will take all the parts and pieces that I can for 50 bucks. So let's go home and uh, show you what I got. Should be maybe an hour trip. 30 minutes of biking and 30 minutes of the train and my partner in crime she wants to go out for this holiday Friday blah 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 she wants to go check out a couple events and that so oh my god this must look pretty funny I was blasted by quite a few people riding a uh, couple cars I went by that were going slow and another uh, I was right behind somebody on a Harley I was buzzing along some of the side streets pretty quick with this bag, so <laughs> it must look funny, this little thing just boogieing along. Anyhow, I got my collection. I w I'm curious to see what he threw in there. I don't even know what he threw in. I didn't look. He says, oh, I'll give you these two, but I'll show you one kit. How's that? Oh yeah, that'll make a good parts contribution. All right, all right, all right, all right. This is what we got, boys and girls. We're uh, arrived back home, and hold on, I have to pause this. I'm watching a little bit of the Hot Rod Power Tour from a couple of weeks back. You know, it's a good way to get ideas on car builds and car different vehicles out there that you like. So anyhow, we have arrived on the my little motorbike. Everybody has a motorbike in their living room, don't they? Yeah, my partner in crime, she's pretty good with it. Mind you, I bring hers up here. Uh, I need to adjust this fender. See, it's making a little bit of noise, rattling. So enough about that stuff. Let's get into what we got in this new stash. So why don't we start by unboxing this, or unboxing, I should say, opening up this. Now, I have no clue what I all got, what I all bought, other than 
I was happy with buying three NASCAR kits for 15 bucks each, 45 bucks. That is my, what my price guide is. And I use those for lowered vehicles and stuff like that. Sometimes, not all the time. Sometimes I like to build circle track cars. As you see, I'm a circle track racer. If you look at my thumbnail picture, or was, sorry. So here's what we got. Let's start with this guy. Ricky Rudd, T-Bird. What is it, 80, no, 90 something T-Bird, 95? I don't even know. Who cares about the uh, year? This is gonna be parts been special. So it looks complete, looks complete, all in its wrapper. So this would be a good kit. Painted, ah, uh, not painted, sorry, the rims are not chrome, so they can be painted, whatever color you desire. Um, not a lot of chrome on this, that's it. Uh, it's 351 Cleveland engine, that's a good thing, and it does have the windshield. So that's pretty good, and the windshield's not overly scratched up. So there we go, and we got some extra tide decals. Blah, blah, blah. So let's put that away. Oh, we're going to separate the tires from the windows and all the other plastic so it doesn't melt the plastic. So let's put that aside. We don't need to see that. Now the other kit that I got, he just gave me, threw in the lot, was this. He says, oh, just take this. I want this out of my hair. I have no clue what's complete or if that's the actual kit in there. Ah, uh, how can I... And he said he didn't know if the kit, what was in there. Oh, there we go. Looks like a semi-complete, or possibly complete, 62 Impala. The lowrider roof. Yeah, I'd say it's a little squashed. It's okay. We don't have to worry about the squashed roof. If you're making a lowered uh, lowrider from the 60s, hey, maybe this is the kit for you. Anyhow. So all these other kits I paid, I, I, I would say $5. So it's got an extra pair of slicks, extra tires, nothing super special. You can make a stock car out of this, circle track car. That's one option. So the plastic is complete. So it'll have a 409 engine. So if I was to do like a gasser, that would be a good gasser engine. Mine yet. Oh no, yeah, it doesn't have any fancy on the engine other than dual fours Z11 engine so that is that that's kit number two I don't know if I'm gonna do this video in two parts or not I'll probably have to because with the ride and everything I don't know it's galaxy this one he had advertised so let's open the galaxy up I had did I have one of these kits I think I had one of these kits made a stalker out of it circle track car because it came with, oh, there we go, look at that. Uh, red painted in its ugliness. Oh, somebody tried to put a tub chassis. The tub chassis came out of the Chevelle. I'm even videoing this. Pull back there, Chuck, so you can, everybody can see. So that is that. We got a Galaxy Chevelle. I'd rather have this. Oh, I can make a circle track car of the Chevelle. There's the interior of the Chevelle. Uh, yeah. I can say not much about that. Uh, somewhat of a window, scratched up. Wow, look at that junkyard parts collection. This I was looking at. That is pretty cool. Look at the Morosso valve covers and its golden goodness. Oh, 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 I remember those back in the day. And you got Lenko. Oh, oh, I like it. I like where this is going. Extra interior. What is this out of? Looks like this. Impala to Chevelle Chevy Impala interior I think or an extra interior out of the Galaxy I don't know we don't know for where oh extra engine another big block Moroso engine ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho look at that I got two engines uh, Ford Kamer engine that probably came out of the Galaxy dual four barrel this is out of the Galaxy look at Oh, he sprayed it flat chrome. Interesting. Circle track car again. Uh, hood, galaxy hood. Extra tub. Somebody was building a tub car. Uh, the Chevelle backing, Chevelle dash, XZ 
exhaust, rims, tires. Look at this extra slicks. Uh, so so. The pink doesn't look good. Oh yeah, there's a lot of tires here. Some extra Kragers, extra seats, rad shroud front. That's probably from the. Oh, that's what he was gonna do. He cut the tub, the frame. I guess if you want to make a Chevelle, you could always glue it back together. No, it doesn't fit. Anyhow, that doesn't matter. Extra racing buckets, headers, a lot of. S oh, look at this. There we go. One tub tire. One tub. Maybe there's more in the other ones. Decals to say. The Black Knight. Oh, that's interesting. We could put that on something. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, look at the tub tires. There we go. Now we're talking. So, so far, so good. So, now on to bigger and better things. You already saw that. Pro Street Bird. So, we got the 55 Chevy. And what else? T Bird. Wow, look at that. I don't know what's in there, but there's some good spare parts. Uh, this thing, I don't care about this thing. Anybody want a kit? Uh, who knows? We'll take a look at it. Maybe something I need. Wow, this is an extra bonus. Wow. Another tub body and engine. Uh, oh, here we go. Number three circle truck. Where's my other one? I had three of them, didn't I? Uh, I'm missing one. Oh, I'm missing one. There should be another circle truck car. Where is it? Uh, huh. Oh, sorry, I took it out of the top. It's the Mike Skinner car. So, how about this one? This was an extra. Uh, this one wasn't in included in the original purchase price. So it's missing the body. I think, but it's got decals, it's got chassis, somebody just stole the body out of it, so you need the body, is the engine in there, engine's there, so you got an extra 427 engine, extra tires, yeah, you know, extra rallies, exhaust, stuff like that, there's the exhaust, so, oh, I like the separate frame, very good, very good. Not bad, not bad. You know, my uncle had one of these in gold color. Uh, gold with a 327 in it, if I remember correctly. Long time ago. Non-SS hood. Oh, don't. Look at that. It's running away. Ah, uh, yeah, let's take a look. And of course, the battery on the camera goes, no power, so no more video. Actually, we're going to come back next time, my friends, and continue what we found in this small model car collection. You know what? What do you think? Was it worth 50 bucks? Or is it not worth 50 bucks? Let me know. And my friends, hey, cheers till next time. Hey, it's a coffee cheers, as always. Stay awesome, my friends.